Now seeing the impact of decisions made by leaders during the earliest days of the pandemic on women's health in Texas, at least one clinic in Austin says more women sought abortions later in their pregnancies this past spring. It came after the state temporarily halted elective surgeries, including most abortions. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark asked reproductive health experts about the financial and emotional consequences for women. I am governor. Governor Abbott's March executive order prohibited abortions unless a woman's health was at risk. As a result, Whole Woman's Health of Austin had to cancel nearly 100 procedures. What were the alternatives for your patients? The alternatives were, uh, many of them were going to places like New Mexico. But clinic director Soraya Dadras tells me not every woman had the means to travel out of state. A lot of them felt a sense of anxiety and kind of panic, which they're already dealing with with the pandemic. Here's a look at the timeline. On March 22nd, the executive order banned all non-essential medical procedures. Planned Parenthood and other groups sued during a month-long legal battle. Clinics were allowed to continue abortions on April 22nd, following an updated order from the governor that eased restrictions. By that time, many patients were no longer able to receive an abortion using medication, which is only offered in the first 10 weeks of pregnancy in Texas. It basically allows the women to, you know, complete the abortion process in the comfort of their own home. At Whole Woman's Health, the number of surgical abortions nearly doubled in the weeks after the ban compared with before. According to NBC News, other clinics in Texas saw a more than 50% increase in second trimester abortions. Asking women to wait was cruel in that sense because, you know, it, there's so much more involved financially when you um, want to do a second trimester procedure. Dr. Carrie White works for the Texas Policy Evaluation Project, a reproductive health policy research project based at UT. She told me in an email the vast majority of women in Texas already live more than 100 miles from a clinic. She added some women may have tried to end their pregnancies on their own. Kevin Clark, KXAN Investigates. This morning, we reached out to Governor Greg Abbott's office for a comment. We have not received a response. If we do, we'll share it at KXAN.com.